Growing speculation tonight about Paul Ryan's future as Speaker of the House. A source close to the Speaker telling the Associated Press today that Ryan is expected to seek re-election. But House Majority Whip Steve Scalise is not ruling out succeeding Ryan, telling Politico, quote, Obviously, I've shown interest in the past at moving up. I've enjoyed being in leadership. 380 sheriffs from across the country are calling on Congress to build the border wall. The sheriffs telling lawmakers that without border security and immigration reform, more Americans will continue to be victims of crime. The wall also a big topic of President Trump's speech in Ohio. And we're getting that sucker built, and you think that's easy? We spend billions of dollars in other countries maintaining their borders, and we can't maintain our borders in our own country. Is there something a little bit wrong with that? Think of it. We spend billions and billions of dollars. Look, North and South Korea, 32,000 soldiers. Their finest equipment, barbed wire all over the place. We protect that whole thing. Well, joining me now, former Republican congressman from Utah, Jason Chaffetz, now a Fox Business contributor. Jason, welcome back to the program, sir. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. The president says, let's deal with the war, first of all. He says, we're going to get that sucker built. That's what he said. How's he going to do that when Congress only gave him $1.6 billion and you need $25 billion? To give you an idea, the, the sense of the scope here, over the next 10 years, the United States Congress is poised to spend more than $43 trillion, with a T, trillion dollars. And the president asked for $25 billion and he didn't get it. it. It's authorized to build the wall, but he needs the funding. And it's one of the crying shames in that disaster yes. of an omnibus that was passed did not have that money in there. There, there was the, there was 1.6 billion and that's it. And a lot of people are blaming Speaker Ryan and a lot of people are saying the man's got to go. Now you're a former congressman. What do you say? If I could have one wish to change one thing, I would change actually the Senate because the House actually passed a very conservative bill, sets of bills in the appropriations that went over to the Senate. The Senate didn't even pretend. They didn't even try to go through the process. There weren't amendments. Suddenly, with less than 48 hours, they passed this thing. Now, the House, you could argue, shouldn't have ever swallowed it or, or pulled it up. Uh, but at the same time, they, you know, uh, you got to look at the individual members. But I got to tell you, the Senate is the place where it is truly broken. Surely it's time to go to a 51 majority vote rule in the Senate. Get rid of the filibuster. Now, why yeah. don't we do that? Well, in the filibuster, make those senators actually stand up there and actually articulate things. You know, Mr. Smith goes to Washington and he stands as long as he wants to drop. Hey, go ahead and do that. Right now, you just kind of have this, uh, you literally you call up on the phone, and you say, I got a hold on that. That's what amounts to a filibuster. And that, this isn't some, you know, directive that's enshrined on the, the side of Mount Sinai, for goodness sake. This is a Senate rule, and there's no reason why you can't bypass it. But uh, you, you sound, forgive me for saying it, Jason, you sound a little soft. <laughs> Sorry, but you're not prepared to say Ryan's got to go, and you're not prepared to say get rid of that filibuster and make it a 51-vote rule. Yeah, no, I want to get rid of the filibuster. I think the Senate rules are absolutely ridiculous, especially when you pass a budget, then you have the appropriations. They should go to 51. Uh, I'm not in a position to say absolutely Paul Ryan should go. I think he will go. I think the key metric is June 1st. Uh, that's when you have to actually, you know, that's the filing deadline there in Wisconsin. Um, but, uh, you know, he is... Uh, It'll be interesting to see if he re-ups. He's passed his signature item, which was, was tax reform. I wish he would do some things differently, but, um, you know, that's where I see it. The president today, I'm calling it unleashed. His speech was, yeah. that's pure Trump, unleashed. Is that a strong enough presentation? Is his program strong enough? Is the growth agenda in place and strong enough to win in November and drag the Republican Party towards victory in November. Is the president strong enough to lead the GOP and bail him out, essentially? Well, you know, in the face of the omnibus, you know, it, it was a very mixed bag because there are a lot of fiscal hawks and a lot of people who believe we're spending ourselves into oblivion. And we didn't do the core things that we said we were going to do to the American people, and that is build the wall was one of those core things. So uh, it makes it much more of an uphill battle. If I'm the Democrats, I'm jumping up and down. And the context here is Democrats don't have leadership and they don't have policies. So I don't think there's some big blue wave. I don't sense that at all. 
Um, but, you know, these, a lot of these races come down to, you know, who is the best candidate in each individual race. Um, the attorney general says yeah. no special sec second special counsel to investigate. You're shaking your head. You can't believe this? Absolutely the wrong call. And, and the audacity to, to thwart the efforts of Senator Grassley and Graham and others in the Senate. You have a huge contingent in the House. And, uh, you know, I heard Ed Rollins say that, you know, that may be the death knell for for uh, Attorney General Sessions. I have long thought that Attorney General Sessions should go. I think he's there as, as Attorney General in name only. Uh, he's not leading the department and agency on the core fundamental problems that they have there. Uh, I months ago said that I think he ought to leave and until he leaves, they're gonna continue to have these problems. You're hardening up. That's very good. Thank you very much indeed, Jason Chavis. <laughs> Thanks, Just a joke, Thank just you. a joke. Thanks, hey, no Jason. Thanks. <laughs>